Hey, what's up everybody? Hope all is well with you guys. So back with another video today. Today we're going to be discussing the difference between a 5 and a 6 millimeter 20 inch long rope chain. Now you guys might notice I've been doing some updates on the channel, trying to take your advice in, trying to take everything that you guys say and try to put it towards this channel to make this channel better and more beneficial because if you guys watched some previous videos, I've mentioned to you guys this channel is about you and it's about helping you guys make good decisions when it comes to buying jewelry. Because if you're like me, I've always had trouble buying jewelry online. There was never a really comprehensive guide to show me what this piece of jewelry is gonna look on me, how it's gonna look on me. So that's what this channel is for, guys. Now, you um, you guys wrote to me, you said that maybe the audio needed to be improved. The audio should be improved. Let me know if the audio is improved. I got a little system going on. Um, and that actually affords me a wonderful opportunity to push the camera back even more. So I pushed the camera back even more, guys. You're even further away from me, so you're going to get an even better view today as to how these two chains might be able to look on you when we get into this. All right, let's go. My name is Joe, in case you don't know. I am 5'6". I am 144 pounds at today. I actually lost a pound since the last video. Happy to say that because I am actually on an aggressive cut right now to lose uh, a couple of pounds. So 145 pounds, 5'6". And um, so I'm not a big guy, and I am 12 feet away from the camera, okay? So currently 12 feet away from the camera, so you guys are going to have a nice viewing distance to see whether or not these sizes will be good for you. Let's take a look at what we're going to be looking at today. We have here on the hand a 6 millimeter rope and a 5 millimeter rope. Now, I'm going to try to give you guys a good comparison to show you the difference up close and personal which you guys have probably seen a million times because that's usually what videos concentrate on, but I'm trying to do this channel a little bit differently. This is the six millimeter here. This is the five millimeter, okay? You guys might be able to see there is a huge difference in size, at least when it comes to somebody who's picky, right? Now, rope chains, you guys might know, Rope chains are absolutely fantastic because you're getting a lot of flash for your money. These are very chunky chains. So even at a very small millimeter, you can get away with a lot. All right? You can get away with a lot. Now, we're going to do a little experiment. I'm going to put these chains on, and I want you guys to guess at a distance which chain we're looking at. And, you know, this will give you good ideas to whether or not maybe you want a five or a six. Let's check this out. This might be fun. Okay, so I have this rope chain on right here. I'm gonna be coming closer to the camera. We're gonna be taking a good look at it. Guys, just think about whether or not this chain might be a five or a six millimeter, okay? Check this out. Give you guys the back view, all right? Normally I do these videos with a black t-shirt on. I figured I'd switch it up a little bit because I actually just got finished working out. If you guys want the black t-shirt back, let me know. And because that gives you kind of like a blank canvas, but let me know if that's something you guys want. Reach out to me. Whatever improvements I can make for this channel, I want to try to be able to do that for you because I want to give you the best experience possible, right? So, what does this look like right now? It's got a pretty decent presence, right? Take a look at this. I'm 12 feet away. All right. Give you one more look up front. Okay. Everything looks so much bigger on camera. It's nuts. All right. Now, let me show you that next one. Okay, so here's the next one, guys. Again, we are 12 feet away, right? I'm going to come up close to the camera. Give you guys a good look all around the neck. Take a look at this size. Okay. We'll come up nice and close. Check that out. Rope chains are beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And again, you get a lot for your money when it comes to rope chains. And the reason why is because they're chunky looking. You know, you can get away with a lot. Even a four millimeter rope might actually look very decent around someone, someone's neck from a distance. And that's why a lot of the time people choose to go with rope chains because for, you're paying price per gram a lot of the time for gold, right? So the less gold you buy, the less you're gonna pay, but you still want a presence when it comes to what's around your neck. So something like this, a rope chain, can go a far, a far way when it comes to money, all right? So what do you guys think? Was the other one the six or was this one the six? The one I'm wearing right now is the six millimeter. 
the first one that I had on before was the 5 millimeter. Maybe you guys were able to tell, maybe you weren't. Now, up close, you can see a huge difference, but I am willing to bet that on camera, it was kind of hard to tell, all right? So again, this is the, the six millimeter, okay? From 12 feet away, this should be giving you guys a good idea as to whether or not this is something that you guys would want in your arsenal when it comes to uh, a chain, okay? Now I'll give you the five millimeter one more time. Here's the five millimeter. Very, very decent chain. Very decent chain. Always loved ropes and they're classic. They'll never go out of style. Some things go in and out of style. I don't think ropes ever do. So guys, I hope this helped. You know what, let me give you a shot of both of them around my neck. So as you can see, the millimeters just blew up right now. Absolutely blew up. Next shot. I really like that you guys recommended this mic. Thank you very much for the viewer who did. It's really nice to be able to be far away from the camera and still talk and know that I'm being heard decently. So this is what we got so far for today, guys. Five and a six millimeter, that's a comparison. Um, hope this helps. If you have any specific things that you guys wanna see that maybe I can help you with, let me know. Guys, hit me up on Instagram. My Instagram name is in the description of every single video. So feel free to reach out with requests so I have a, if you guys need something pointed, but if not, we're just gonna keep doing this. We're gonna do comparisons. We're gonna do our best on this channel to try to show you, the viewer, what size chains you should be buying at what different lengths, because we're gonna be getting into different lengths later on, um, unless somebody reaches out first and tells me, hey, I wanna see this right now, then we can do that. But um, we're gonna be getting into different lengths, different sizes, and all this stuff to try to help you guys make a good decision when you're buying jewelry online, because at the end of the day, it's not really easy. Um, and I really hope this stuff helps. All right, guys, be safe. Catch you all later and talk to you soon.